Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Hamza Youssef, as Justice Secretary, pushed through the hate crime bill. This meant that you're not allowed to be hateful. You're not allowed to commit hate crimes. And that anything that involves hate gets a far more serious sentence. And that the police are obliged by law to investigate. Now, of course, when he was bringing this law in, he didn't intend this to be for everyone. His idea was this would only really apply to people who were hating on one particular group, his gang. That's why this thing was existing. And so it'd be interesting to see if this retrospective uh, law will be used when the hate, the victims of hate crime, aren't of a certain group, but of a completely different group, a group who Hamza actually dislikes. Will he insist that this group are not treated in the same way, that it isn't a hate crime for this particular group? Or will he go with it with all the fervour that he truly believes when he was bringing in the bill? Because on this case, we are actually talking about anti-Semitic uh, attacks against Jews, particularly from a certain group. And it is undoubtedly a hate crime. And Scotland is actually now the hotspot of Britain for this crime. So let's test Hamza's hate bill. Here goes. So anti-Semitic attacks double in Scotland with the country emerging as a hate hotspot for Jews as they face a new pogrom. Now, of course, this hate law wasn't brought in to protect Jews. Far from it. We all know why he brought it in. But now it's going to be applied against them. Uh, against the against the Jews, but uh, you know, by looking to uh, prosecute using these laws, the very people Hamza thought he'd be bringing it in to protect. It makes you wonder if this will work, or what he will do, or will he try and talk people out of it? Because it's not exactly what he intended, is it? Figures from the Community Security Trust show a surge in anti-Jewish incidents since the Hamas terror attack on Israel on October the 7th, with one leading figure saying the true picture will be even worse. And of course, Scotland is now this hotspot. But that's because the, uh, the, 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 the little group in Scotland that think they have the law on their side are about to find out that probably they don't. Scotland has emerged as a hate hotspot with anti-Semitic incidents doubling in a year. New figures from the Community Security Trust recorded more than 4,000 incidents involving racism against Jews in the UK. The all-time high figure has been put down to an explosion in attacks since the Hamas attack on Israel on October the 7th, when that group, the Gazan, these Gazan people, went across into Israel, murdered babies, raped women, murdered them, paraded their bodies in the street, and acted like sheer barbarians, and then cried foul when Israel responded. The vast majority were recorded in London, 2,410, while Manchester, 555, also recorded a high number. But Scotland was also in the top five for hate incidents, with 68, exactly double the 34 recorded in 2022. And one Scottish Jewish figure says the actual number will be much higher, as people do not bother reporting incidents because they've become so used to it. It's understood the vast majority of Scottish incidents were examples of abusive behaviour, Four were physical assaults, three desecrations of property and one incident of anti-Semitic leaflets being posted to a synagogue in Glasgow. And I know exactly the kind of people that will be doing most of this. We all know. And it's wrong and the hate crime must be reported because under that, under that bill, and I've reported this before, under the hate crime bill, the police are obliged to investigate and they are obliged to report back to the person who's notified them of the offence. There is no, oh, well, we, but, but that's not really important. We won't do it. No, 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 no. They are legally obliged to do this. This is what Hamza Yousaf brought in when he was justice minister. But of course, he was thinking it will be white people doing it to a certain gang of his. But that's not the case. And now, of course, this legislation is going to come back and bite him. Because if every single incident is reported and every single incident is investigated, which it must legally be, then it will be seen who 
is performing these acts of hate. And they must be punished in accordance to the law. And as it's a hate crime, the punishment is exacerbated. It is made worse. You get a higher punishment. And that, too, will be an interesting thing for the courts to deal with. And you wonder if there won't be coming an edict from on high saying, well, we mustn't do this. This seems to be punishing one group more than anyone else. We must reduce that or some such. Because the last thing he wants is members of his gang going to prison for long periods of time because it would make him look bad down the mosque. Anyway, speaking to BBC Scotland's Good Morning Scotland programme on Thursday, Ephraim, I'm going to pronounce the name as best I can. Anyway, Ephraim Barovsky, I think, of the Scottish Council of Jewish Communities said Jews in Scotland were facing a new pogrom. There were violent riots in the 19th and 20th centuries in mainland Europe aimed at exterminating or expelling Jews. He said he can't say the figures were unexpected. And the Jewish community was aware of what's been happening, particularly since October the 7th. He had one of the things that concerns me is this has become normalised. And to quote David Baddiel, Jews don't count. They seem to ignore this. The, the authorities don't seem to apply hate laws to Jews. Now, I'm not Jewish myself. Uh, I was raised in a Christian background. Um, I, but I know many Jews. I don't have a problem. I have never seen Jews committing acts of mass murder uh, on innocent people. So how can I how can I judge? Uh, I have seen 9-11. Um, I have seen 7-7 in London. I've seen many things like that. And of course, October the 7th. They all seem to be done by one group against everyone else. Weird, isn't it? How one group keep doing this kind of thing. And yet we're meant to feel sorry for them. And it always makes me laugh when you see these gay, you know, queers for Gaza. Yeah, really. Go to Gaza. Won't be many queers there, let me tell you. There's lots of high buildings. And what they do is they shake up these high buildings and then they, um, off you go. That's what they do to gay people. So uh, all these queers for Gaza, oh look, we're standing here. And then there was a video the other day where they were down in uh, Trafalgar Square and there's a guy there. I'm, I'm standing with Palestine, I'm standing with Palestine, but you have a, a gay flag. And the Palestinians just went up there and beat the shit out of him. We don't like gay people. Well, that taught him, didn't it? Got to learn. Anyway, we have politicians, he said, who are actively saying that anti-Semitism isn't a form of racism. We've had people saying the Holocaust wasn't racism because it was, quote, just a spat between two lots of white Europeans. Now, that's appalling. And if that's how people frame that in their own minds, then it's not surprising that there are people who have less of a conscience about it. Well, one of the things is you seem to, to misjudge ethnicity with race. They are not the same. Race is not ethnicity, you know. Uh, and racism exists between white peoples. Um, to say that the Holocaust wasn't racist is the sort of thing that is said by people who are anti-Semitic. To say racism didn't cause the Holocaust is only ever said by racists. Let's be clear about that. Anyway, CST, which monitors anti-Semitism, provides security for the Jewish community in Britain. It said there were a total of 4,103 anti-Semitic incidents in the UK in 2023, up from the previous annual record uh, of 20, uh, 2,261. Now, all I'm going to say is, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, because it's just sort of statistics from there on. But what I will say is every single case in Scotland must be reported to the police. Report every single one. And then you see that lot. You see that lot. They'll all be investigated. They have to, legally. It's a requirement of the law. Record it with the police and tell them it was a hate crime. And ask them for the 72-hour report, because they have to provide a report within 72 hours. Again, that's part of the law. And let's see how busy the police are. Let's keep the police very busy on this. And let's highlight who is committing the real hate crimes in Scotland. And I think we all know. Coming up. It would be interesting to watch Hamza Youssef's face if after a load of uh, at the, these uh, crimes were investigated and the numbers came out and it would be all his lot. Uh, and then you go, well, that's not what I meant this to be. It's not. That's not what I intended this crime for. This crime was meant to be the other way. 
And he'd be crying like a little baby, wouldn't he? And then all of a sudden, he'd realise that everyone, whoever everyone was saying how awful this actual crime bill was, he'd realise how bad it was. Because him and his lot would be the victims of it. But that's what happens, isn't it? The law of unintended consequences is always amusing when it is applied back to those who tried to do something to harm others. Karma's a bitch, isn't it? Anyway, I'll finish there. Thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment. Please share the video. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and I'll speak to you later. Bye.